Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now going to answer question number 20 from paper 2, extended paper of the February March 2020 series that did not take place because of COVID of the IGCSE um, 0580 um, Cambridge specification. This is a question here about, um, you could say, identities, algebraic exp expansion, or even completing the square. There's different ways of doing this question. I'll show you two different ways of doing it. And uh, one of the ways of doing it is by comparing what this looks like when, you, when it's expanded with what, what, what this is. So I'm going to take x plus b. One second. Let me get my pen sorted out. I'm going to take x plus b and I'm going to square it. So I'll take a x plus b and I'm going to square that. All right, and that's going to be x squared, because it's a perfect square, plus 2bx plus b squared. Okay, when you expand a perfect square, you square the first term. You might have 2 times the first term times the second term, and then you square the second term. Okay, if you want to do it the long way, it would be x plus b times x plus b. Okay, and you get x squared x squared plus bx plus another bx. That's where you have two bx's plus b squared. Okay, but what you don't do is say that's x squared plus b squared. That's the common mistake that people do. They just square each term inside. They know there's going to be a middle x term. All right, now what we're going to do is they've told us that x squared minus 12x plus a is also equal to x plus b squared. So they told us x plus b squared is also the same as x squared minus 12x plus a. So if we compare the x squared, there's 1x squared, there's 1x squared. There's 2bx's and there's minus 12x's. Now, these are the same. So the, the number of x's must be the same. So the 2b must be the same as a minus 12. So we can say 2b is the same as minus 12, in which case b is equal to minus 12 over 2. So b is equal to negative 6. So we can say that b is minus 6, negative 6, put it over here. And if b is minus 6, now we know also that the constant term on both sides here must be the same. x plus b all squared gives you x squared plus 2bx plus b squared. And x plus b squared gives you x squared minus 12x plus a. That means a and b squared must be the same thing because they're the constant that's left at the end of the expansion. So we know b, b is minus 6, so a must be negative 6 all squared. So a must be positive 36 because you square a negative term, you get positive. So that's 36. That's one way of doing it. That's just by expanding and comparing what they look like. The other way of doing it is to think about, um, you could say completing the square even. You could say if I complete the square for x squared minus 12x plus a, if I complete the square for this, I'm going to get a squared bracket. I have a minus sign. And then I have to write half of the coefficient of the 12x. So half of the coefficient is 6. Then I've got to take away the square of 6. Okay, take away the square of that. Now that's the same as x squared minus 12x. This part here is the same as x squared minus 12x. If I expand this, I'm going to get x squared minus 6x minus another 6x. That's minus 12x. And then I'm going to get plus 36. I don't want the plus 36, so I take it away. All right, so x squared minus 12x is equivalent to this as a squared bracket. Okay, so x minus 6 squared minus 36. And then at the end, there's a plus a. So if we compare it to what we have, we have x plus b squared, and you got plus 0, basically. There's nothing at the end of it, plus 0. Okay, so we can see here that the b and the minus 6 are the same. And we can say, see, see here that the a and the minus 36, the th minus 36 plus a must be equal to 0, because this gives you 0 in the end. So you've got minus 36 plus a equals 0, so a is equal to 36. So there's two different ways of doing this question. Uh, they're kind of opposites. One way is by expanding, and one way is by basically completing the square, putting it into a squared bracket. Okay, so one is taking it out of the squared bracket, and one is putting the other one into the squared bracket, and you can compare them. Whichever way you find easy is fine. And that is question number 20 from this paper, and there's one question left now. So thank you for watching. If you want to see other questions from this paper, you can click on this playlist over here. If you want to see questions from this topic of algebraic manipulation, you can click on this um, playlist over here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, then click on the 
circle that's going to go over here the icon and on the top of the page here will be a link to the paper for of this paper thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon